right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was scared then. Another day, another fence job. There's Alex. We've already took one of these out. These are getting reused because they're quite new. So they're going back in, waiting on that panels. This is coming out, as you can see. A bit scabby. And this is coming out, all this brickwork, all that brickwork, all this. You can see about it falling on next door neighbour. And then this is what it's, what it's sat on. So I'm taking all this crap out. It's even sat on a fence post. No footings, just just cobbled together. Yeah, so basically everything out and everything back in new. Three intermediates and then a, um, an end post here. And then we're going to cut a base panel down into small sections just to fill that section where it's uh, it's not worth doing a timber panel because you'd end up about that big if that. So we're just going to do a base panel in slipping pieces. Yeah, it's ready. It's ready for a. It's ready for the skip. For sure. Look at that. I don't even. Know, I don't think this post is in the ground. I don't think anything might, to be honest. Oh, they don't go in the ground. What? They don't go into the ground. Don't they? No. Yeah. Well, so those two it, don't anyway. This one might. Are they just wedged in between these bricks then? Yeah, it's just it's just gravity holding everything together, I think. Well, if we get this panel like that, we can just push that post over then. Yeah. So I've been and paid for yesterday's skip and paid for today's skip, and that's coming this sometime today because he's rushed off his feet. So we'll get all this dropped and took around the front. Right. Let's get the tools. Uh, first, sun cream first. It's 28 degrees today. Just give it a tap about three courses down. It should break off as you go. Right. Yeah. So I don't believe cut my finger open again. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Okay. Come on. Go on. Go on. Stop. We'll hit them the other way. Come around this side and knock them off the other way. You can wait away all the way along there. That one's well wedged in. Yeah. Keep 
rolling. You okay? Yeah. Not even dug in the ground. No wonder it fell over. And then here, it's just sat in the old post. That one is actually dug in. We get the hammer on it. So yeah, before we do that, just get the. Oh yeah, go on. Get the bar in there, and that will just push it over. Same again, wedge it in there. Let's set this up so I can help. Open end. Uh, yeah. Open end. And watch out. Push it that way. Cable. Yeah. Push them out the way. That's where the cable is. Yeah. Well, once they're out he's pushing over. Watch that cable. Sit a bit along. Jobs are done. Whip them up. I'm going to leave them in. Probably patch around them. There you go, done. How long did that take? Not long. Five minutes? Well, you'll see how long the video is. We filmed that. We didn't try that, that for a change. That is a pure botch job. What an absolute disgrace. But on the plus side, it makes it easy for us. Come on. So it's a pure botch job, but on the plus side, it makes it easy for us. Yeah. <laughs> now I've just got to tidy it up. Past its sell-by date, that one. Well, all three were for that. A lot of these ones that go really bad, because when they're cast, they put the steel too close to the edge. So the water gets in quicker. Once it's in, it's at it. Oh yes, this is the other job, this beautiful arch. What kind of arch would you say that's called? Semicircular, segmental. I'd say that one's called a wonky arch, would you? 
So it springs off this wall, which is fine, but get to the other side, it springs off this brick, which has got a tiny little oversail underneath it, and two screws. And the whole arch springs off that. So it's just a disaster. So we're not even going to try and fix that, that's just coming down, get rid of it. So a nice arch is a nice feature, but that's not a nice arch. So we're going to get that boshed off as well. Okay Al? Take the camera off me. Be careful, mate. Be careful. Yeah, that's all going to drop. Hang on, hang on. Take that back. Just keep an eye out for me. Try that now. Just nice and gentle. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. So far, so good. So, go on, mate. Take that middle one. next piece out. Hang on, um. Um. I've got my hands full with the camera. Can you manage that big piece? I'm getting my arms around it, yeah. Uh. Right, come back. Come back. Uh. Right, go on. Get that piece on my left hand side, my left hand. Come on, I've got all that. So you got it. Got it. You can be barring the way now. Grab that other brick, finish brick. Right. Put the bar out on the bottom. Yeah. Oh. 
Jesus. Thanks. That's screwed in, so that's not going to fall. That was hairy. We were very ill equipped for that. Very ill equipped. Even, especially our dads. Anyway, that's gone. So that's another little job to patch up. I was scared then. Right, let's get this tidied up. There's one little fella before he got squashed, made a run for it. Get him back. There he is. It's the size of it, it's only the size of my thumb. I'll send him on his way that way. Credit there for Skem Skips again, getting us a skip on the day with an hour's notice. Very lucky. Well, there you go, this is the four ton skip, so what's that? Two, two ton, two and a half ton. That, all that. Something was the arch. State your business, peasant. <laughs> then, the rest of it's this crap. I've never seen anything like it. Held up by a few bricks, bricks fence posts, and frogs. Spitting, spitting, stick, stick to it. Stick to it. Yeah, so um, what we're going to do now is get get the line up. Obviously, a lot of this is going to have to be dug out because the gravel boards are just going to cut it clean there. It's, <sighs> going to, it's going to be two gravel boards and four foot panels back going back in. Uh, yeah, so we'll get the uh, we'll get that one out first, which is we know that's not going to be fun. It never is. And then the rest of them, there's no post, to, there's, the post didn't go into the ground. They were just sort of balanced there, weren't they? Yeah. Hence it fell over. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this one out now. And then we'll go and get the pick up, pick up our posts and we've got posts mixed up, maybe we just need a bit more. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get this thing out. Oh, look, we've got to take a post out, an existing post, next to a big effing conifer tree. Coming to habit this. Anyway, let's crack on. Well, I'm, I'm Alex. I'm waiting for something to go wrong because things are going too well so far. I'll say that. I've just been set in for the long haul taking this one out, and um, this happened. It was 10 inches down. I don't think there's any concrete around there, is there? No. Nope. There no concrete. So Alex just had a good idea because this is disintegrated while we start while we've been taking that post out. He said why don't we drop this and put another gravel board in there. So I think that's rather a good idea. Nice one. Let's get stuck into that then.
Right, been to field, got our stuff. Three intermediates, one end, four bases, one coping to put where the gate, where the arch was. Bag of sand, bag of cement, two post mix. So we're all set. Do the heavy lifting now. Luckily the sun's not around this, so we're not too bad. Just need a tape measure. Show you what we're up to. Bit of fettling that that gravel ball goes straight oh, okay. in. Post is ready dug. Yeah. So we need to put them in as we go instead of digging holes because if you go rush ahead doing loads of holes, you can bet your life one of them will be slightly out, and then it just has a knock on effect. So it's better just to put them in as you go. So that's the plan. Quick update, just gone two o'clock. Uh, yeah, that board's in, that post, that board, that post. So we've got one more full gravel board to go in. And these two posts are that close together, we're gonna have to share a hole, which is gonna be interesting. But um, yeah, we're getting there. Like I say, it's about quarter past two now. So Alex is just getting all the crap up off the next door garden. Getting that in the skip. And it's, uh, yeah, we're in the sun now. It's, it's scorching. Our shade is gone. Time to top up the sun cream, I think. That's a good start.
progress update, about 3.30. I think Alex has pulled something in his chest, looking these frigging things about. Yeah, um, you can see how tight this hole is. So it's one hole for two posts. This one here, we've had to cut about three inch off it. It's still got 20 inches of concrete around it because I can't get to break it down anymore into that brick. Of course, it's got a step step foot in, so the footing's wider than the garage. That to be, didn't it? So that's took a while. And now I've got the post in, and the post the, we're not wide enough on this side, so I've got to pull that yank, yank that post out again, and redig it. Just what you need on a freaking red hot day. Well, that's what I've got to do, I'm afraid. But we're getting there. All the really heavy lifting's done now. So let's get this left. And it's in. It actually didn't take long, I didn't take it out the hole. I just moved it over to the next to the other one. So there's the gap left for it. So we're just going to chop a gravel board up for that into five pieces. Each one steps down slightly to the ground. So we're going to get these whacked in and skedaddle. And it's it's, um, it's cooled down a little bit, isn't it? Oh, there's one cloud. <laughs> right, let me get hold of this. Alex needs some help. Some help. You got it? Yep. It's going to take four, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Right, I have the stick somewhere nearby. Um, you, need, you need to um, get a picture of the blue circle and tag. Put it on Instagram. Tag blue circle. In. Yeah. So it's using blue circle post creep. I'll get another bag in then, so it's at least it's being held, and then I'll take a picture of like the bag next to the post. Yeah. There you go. Post plumb. Uh, but the garage ain't. I wonder why. A little... uh, we didn't. We didn't build this garage. I don't think anyone would admit to it building this garage. Big old hole that. Yeah. Try come around this side mate and get it this around this side of the post. No, I will do now that I've filled this bit up quite a bit. <clears throat> it's weird how um you still filming? Yeah. Look, edit this edit this bit out the way I'm saying this. It's weird how uh um, Fairwood supply blue circle post creep, but they don't supply blue circle. Cement, they still make their own green yeah. triangle. Yeah, for you, isn't it? I'm surprised they don't do their own post mix. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if, they get, if they're supplying blue circle cement, why a uh, post cream, why don't they just. They've been doing uh, their own cement for years. That's two bags down. Don't forget, though, it's two, it's two posts, so it's going to be at least three and a bit. Next bag. Next bag. Right, that's enough of this. Let's go on time match now.
Right. Do you want the towel? Four yet? Bang on four. Oh, cool. Yeah, we finished with a bit of a flurry there. Got them in. Just cut them down. Just nice and tidy, isn't it? That's just taking the off cut out. And then, that's what it looks like from this side. A lot better than it was, that's for sure. It's not going to fall over either. This fella can get his conifer stump out now as well. So let's get this final panel in. Ready? I hope it goes in after all this. <laughs> oh. goes in easy to come out. It's just snug at the bottom. Which is it? Nice zoom out shot. Job's a good one. We could put a couple of little steps in it there because we're stepping down. Because the ground goes down, so yeah, happy with that. That was hard work, but it's always really it's always a relief to have it done. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Likes are always good. Like it, subscribe to it, bell it. Bell it. Instagram. Yeah. Oh yeah, Instagram too. Yeah. Steve, Steve, and Alex Bricklaying. Is that right? Yeah. Um, With underscores in it. It'll say somewhere in the. Video. Yeah, it's in it's in the description. But yeah, give us a like, subscribe, and drop us a comment. Is all your life. I'm cracking the comments. I was pouring it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to actually post all of it. What? I'm trying to actually post all of it. That's the finishing touch. Yeah, made up with that. It's like a pre painted fence. Yeah, it just finishes it off. Nice and tidy and safe. Yeah, as you can see, it wasn't worth buying a panel just to cut down for that. Yeah. See you in the next one.